Yo, what's up, guys? All right, let me. Where's my camera at? Hold on, where's my webcam? There's some wax on my shit. Um, hold on, let me grab my webcam. It's in the car. One second. Yo, what's up, nerd baller? How you doing, bro? All right, let me put this cam on the screen now. Da -da. Activate. Alrighty. Yo. Alrighty. So, let me show you what we got here. So, as you know, I've been working on trying to set up this EU trip. <laughs> and medic... <laughs> okay. Actually, later today, when we go on Mixer, I actually do want to uh, play some games. As you can tell by my fucking YouTube um, thing here, I've been binging on some gaming videos and World War II videos. Don't know why Last of Us and World War II videos have been my thing for the past, like, two days now. And Modern Warfare. So, motherfucking ass ain't that some, some weird ass shit. So, when we go on Mixer later, I'll... We'll play some games, dude, and uh, show you my skills. But, all right, as you know, I've been working on this EU trip. Um, now, I'm trying to get this thing set up. Right now, I haven't told anybody, I haven't asked anybody about uh, joining me on the trip so far yet. Because uh, I'm trying to set up, actually, you know, the itinerary so I have something to tell people. So, let me show you the kind of car that I have right now. Um, so... I have this guy, he's European, he's helping me talk to the guy who fucking owns the RV company, because obviously, um, I can't speak fucking the language that the RV fucking is at, so, potentially, this could be it, I'm still looking at other options, but obviously, um, we don't really need anything that crazy, and I'm trying not to spend a fuckload of money, like $20,000, so... Right now, currently, we have potentially this. Now, I don't want to leak the actual website or anything, so hold on. Let me just take a snapshot of the actual thing and just put it on screen. So give me one second. So the RV is only going to fit four people or five people. Like, it's not going to be a fucking huge-ass thing. Uh, thank you, Zombie. I appreciate it, bro. Obviously, it will be heavily promoted on my Twitter and YouTube, and I'm going to promote this everywhere so, you know, everyone knows when the EU trip's going to happen, and it, no one's going to be at some fucking surprise, like, oh, I didn't know you were doing an EU trip. Everyone's going to know about it. So, so here's the, the, uh, the car, or here's the RV that we are potentially going to be getting. Like I said, it's just potential because I'm always looking for better options, but this is the best option that I have so far. That doesn't cost a shitload of fucking money. Are you guys ready? Yeah, thank you, Rick. I appreciate it. Thank you, Zombie, as well. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. So, first photo of the thing right here. So, this is not bad. It's not bad. It's like it fits four to five people. Um, so, it doesn't look that big, but it fits four people. So, <laughs> hey, it's not scuffed. It's not scuffed. What you mean? It's got a little thing, like a little roof right here. It's got some motherfucking, like, it's got a ladder. It's got some doors. It's got a window. Like, it's not, you know, it's not a 40-foot RV. We don't need a 40-foot RV. You know what I mean? We don't need that. You know, this is like a fucking 20-something-foot RV. That's all we need. All right? It's like some little scuffed Mr. Bean-looking-ass thing. Nice family fucking European trip, dude. You know what I mean? So... It's fine. Good luck freezing. Bro, it's the summer. What do you mean freezing? Also, it probably has a heater in it. What are you talking about freezing? 
All right, let me show you the next photo. Let me show you the inside of it, all right? Because maybe the outside doesn't do... <laughs> Maybe the outside doesn't do justice. Let me show you the inside. It's a short bus, bruh. Let me show you the inside, bro. I'm talking about a short bus. Okay, it's got a shower. It's got a toilet. What else do you need? Let's see here. Let me show you the inside. It's got a kitchen. It's got everything. It's got everything. I mean, Europe's not that big. Look at that. That is the inside. Europe's not that big. Okay, we don't need a fucking tour bus, you know what I mean? Now, a tour bus would be nice, but why is that showing up on... Oh, I have the wrong... Oh, okay, I still have the mixer uh, alerts on right now instead of the fucking YouTube ones. That's why that's showing up. But all right, come to Scotland. Thank you, Eden. I appreciate it. Hey, let me let me just switch this real quick so people aren't getting scams real one second. No, but look at this. Chat. Is it gas powered? Yes, it's gas powered, all that shit. What do you think about this, this, you know, this van? I mean, it's not a van, it's an RV. It's like a 20 some foot RV. I don't really know all the details because obviously I don't speak fucking, uh, you know, European, but, you know, it's, it fits four people. It's got a bed right here, it's got a couch right here, it's got another couch, and then somebody can sleep in the fucking passenger seat. You know what I mean? And is it is five hundred dollars a week with no cost on miles. So at most I'm gonna spend um five, at most I'm gonna spend fifteen hundred. That's it. There's no cost on miles, the miles are free, and it's only five hundred a week to rent. So I mean if but now if there's anyone who can help get me an even better deal, that would be good. Because obviously, this is not set in stone. This is not exactly what I'm going to get. This is just an option. You know what I mean? I'm looking for options. I'm, uh, I'm looking at different things, calling different things. It's kind of hard, though, because it's in Europe, and I don't speak their fucking language. But I'm looking for different things, and I'm always, you know, trying to get the better option here. So, the one hey, thing Paul, that I'm... this Euro trip is a great idea. You should take someone that is familiar with Europe and is semi-family friendly. Have you heard of Sam Pepper? He is another IRL streamer and can pay his way. I mean, he is from Europe, but hey, thank you, Super G. I appreciate it. So it would be crowded in there. Not a, not if we only get like four people, but um, listen, um, what was I going to say? Fucking the, the one thing I'm looking for is that they don't charge for miles. Okay. Cause I, we're going to drive a lot of fucking miles. We're going all over Europe, literally everywhere in Europe. Um, at least on the, on the West side. So. You know, I don't want to spend fucking three thousand dollars for miles, so I don't care how scuffed this an RV is, um, as long as it works. That's all that matters to me. So, you know, we'll see how that works. But um, I mean, if you guys have any op or if you guys have any suggestions on where I can get RVs in Europe, send me a DM on Twitter or post on Reddit, and I'll look into it. Exposing stream he did on you yesterday. <laughs> Eight hour exposing stream. You know, I watched a good portion of the stream yesterday. I would hardly say yeah, it was eight it hours of exposing. I would say it's just his, uh, you know, it's his two cents and, you know, just reminiscing on stuff. I don't think it was anything. There's no, ex there's no exposing, but thank you. Thank you, Strawberry. I appreciate that, baby girl. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, Reddit. Or DM me on Twitter, and then I'll look into it and try to make it work. Now, with the people that I would want to bring, that is, you know, still up for debate here, okay? Now, I've talked to Grimoire a little bit, and I think what we're going to end up doing is meet her in Lithuania. Don't I'm going to try and see if I can, can, you know, talk to her and see if she wants to do something bigger than just that, but... If I can get Grimoire to be a part of this, that would be amazing. I'm trying to get European people uh, more so than, you know, American people to fit the vibe of an EU trip. So, Track Suit Andy I'd want. And I think he already said he would be down. Um, Grimoire would be good. Marie doesn't stream anymore. So, I don't think Marie would be interested. So, I don't think that could be a thing. But Track Suit and Grimoire are the two people that I, originally, uh, that I really would want. Um, and then I obviously would want Gary and then EBZ. I think that'd be a good fit. Those four, plus me and Kimberly, I think that I think that works. Now, if that will be that would end up with five people. 
So now, obviously, I might need a bigger RV than what I just showed you if I have five people. So, Scotland. I mean, I don't think we're going to go to Scotland because it's a fucking island and we can't drive there. But, you know, you never know. Um, so we'll see how this goes. But now EBC probably won't go because he doesn't have his passport. I told him to get a fucking passport. I don't think he's going to be able to get a passport. So now if, oh yeah, that is six people instead of four. So if we end up bringing those people that I just said that I would want, um, then we would need a bigger RV. So I would have to just, I would just have to spend the money. You know, I'll spend the money. I just don't want to spend $20,000. Can you get a tour a bus for 5,000 or you less? You should just take the tank. That RV is spacious, comfortable. Not bumpy at all. Truly an overall great investment. Take advantage of it. Soy boy. My suggestion is, is this is a waste of money. You should just take the tank. What tank are you talking about? That RV is spacious, comfortable, and not bumpy at all. Truly an overall great inv investment. What is... I, I, I can't tell. Is that sarcasm? Or what is... I don't understand what, what that was supposed to be. What tank are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know what uh, they really have going on in Europe in terms of tour buses, but I haven't really found too much except for scuffed-ass RVs, to be honest. But I'll keep looking. But um, I think he means the military truck. Oh, I mean, I, I mean the military truck I would actually take, but I don't have that, so obviously I cannot do that. But um, I don't even know if Gary would be willing to go because it is very far to get to Europe. But let me see. That's not an RV. That's a camper. Well... Like I said, if anyone could help me find better RVs in Europe, let me know. I'll, I, I, where, it doesn't matter where in Europe it is. Anywhere in Europe. I'll, wherever the RV ends up being, I'll fly into that part of Europe, and then I'll pick it up, and then we'll drive around. So that's the whole point. The current RV I just showed you is, well, I don't want to tell you where it is, but it's somewhere like up north. Let me, uh, let me give someone a call here. Hey, Paul, quick question. How was Salt Lake City when you did visit it? I've been thinking about moving. Is it too more known? Let me see. What would you say? Um, hey, how was Salt Lake City? Uh, I mean, Salt Lake City's fine. Kind of boring, but it was fine. Uh, thank you, Lemongrass. I appreciate that, baby girl. Thank you so much. All right. Let me, uh, let me call Gary real quick. Let me see what he's been up to cx in the chat Maybe, he's gonna what if we bring moises too with gary he'd they could be like the dynamic duo yo, yo gary what's up man what are you doing i'm in rhode island i just got here here visiting my family and shit oh yeah rhode island shit all right yes sir i had a question for you okay all right listen gary this is going to be a big commitment, though. All right. I, know you, I, just, I was watching your stream earlier. I saw what you were doing with Kimberly, so hopefully it has nothing to do with that. What do you think it has to do with? I'm, just, I'm hoping it doesn't have anything to do with this. Um, I don't know. Somebody said you're sick of me. Are you sick of me? No. Why would I be sick of you? I don't know. It's what Strawberry Vision said, but I think she's jealous. Uh, no, Strawberry Vision. I think Strawberry Vision is jealous because she wants to get with me. So it's like sexually, but that's a whole other story. Um, so, Gary. Yes. Come to Europe with me. Leave is at home in law where he belongs. Come to Europe? Has turned come into to Europe an asshole. Is this another like we're leaving in three days? I was going to leave in two days. <laughs> no, we need, we need time to prepare. No, I'm just kidding. It would be like uh, September 8th. September 8th. Start in UK and ferry over to Amsterdam. I found some flight. I, I want to go to Europe. I found some flights. I found some flights for myself. Okay. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred. Yeah, two hundred dollars Ryanair. How could it be so cheap? Ryanair. 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 That's two, two words. Ryanair. That's how. The fuck is Ryanair? Fucking dog shit airline. That's fine. It's only 200 bucks, though? Yeah. I mean, it's fucking... I mean, for me, I don't know about for from L.A., but from Texas, like $200. Okay. I got to see from L.A. That doesn't seem bad, though. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that, bro. <clears throat> and but, then what? You were talking about getting, like, some sort of fucking vehicle when you're there? Yeah, I'm going to get an RV, and it's not going to be scuffed. It's going to be big, t spacious tour bus. 
with, you know, a kitchen and a massage chair and probably a hot tub. And, uh, you know, we're going to drive around Europe in it. CX in the I chat. Mean, that sounds fucking dope. So we, ha- we don't have to spend money on hotels. The only money we spend is on gas. That's it. I mean, I'm fucking... I'm down. I just want to... I don't want to be the overkill with the Gary streams, you know? <laughs> I'm not stupid. Like, I understand, like... I don't want to. No, I don't the, want everyone to think it's overkill. To be honest. No, it won't be overkill. You know why? It won't why be. That? It won't be overkill because I want to bring other people too. I want to bring Ebenezer Lombe, and I want to try and bring Tracksuit Andy and Grimoire. Okay. Yeah. If it's if if it's like a group, I feel like it would be better. I want to fucking go. Clearly, you know. Um, I just feel like. I don't know. I don't want. I don't want. It could be the third trip. Could be like the third strike. And by the end of it, <laughs> well, <laughs> why? Why? Why do you think people? Why do you think people are getting tired of you? Because I don't think they are. Who said? Okay, there's like there's a couple people in my chat that you know are just like bring someone else. But well, if I bring I a group, if there's a group of us, a what's that? I think anyone you bring on stream, even if it goes well, you know they're gonna be like, oh, we want to see somebody different. So I think that's kind of inevitable. Yeah, um, but if there's if we bring a group of people, then I think it's different. Yeah, no, I feel like, I feel like if it's like a group, then it'll be good because then it won't just be like kind of on me. I think it'll be good. But now um, here's are you actually turn on my stream for a second? I want to uh, show you the RV. All right, hold on. I just want your opinion on this RV. Alrighty, uh, let me put it up on the screen real quick. So th- this is only four hundred and fifty dollars a week plus tax, so about five hundred. And you know, I would pay for the, I would pay for it. I'd pay for the fucking RV, so you don't have to worry about it. Bro, that thing is fucking tiny. Really? No, it's not. It's not. It's <laughs> it's like twenty feet, dude. All right, it's like twenty. I'm not tw- it looks like a fucking van. It, it has well, like a little overhang on top of it. It is. It's a van that has, you know, things in it. Beds and a bathroom and a shower and stuff. It's CX like 20 feet. Chat. Yeah. I mean, the RV is not my concern. I'm down. I don't give a fuck if it's like a small little thing. I'm down either way. I just want to make sure that I don't want to fucking... <laughs> I don't want to be the reason that like, people are like butthurt about like your stream or something CX like that. I want chat. to make sure that it's going to be good. You know, I don't want to fucking push it too much. But I don't. Like, I said, like you said too, if it's a group, it'll be better. Yeah, I don't think anyone is going to be butt hurt about. Like, I don't think you're gonna. People aren't gonna be like, "Oh, Gary's ruining the stream." That's retarded. That's ridiculous for people to think that. Okay. But uh, you know, just think about it. I mean, is Vanessa gonna let you go for three weeks? Yeah, I'm fucking. I'm uh I'm moving into a new apartment come September first too, and then she's gonna have a roommate, so she's gonna have uh someone to keep her company while I'm gone. So that'll be even better. Okay, so you can leave her because th- this is gonna be a three week thing. Yeah, that's fine. Can you deal with living with me in a fucking van for three weeks? <laughs> well, I mean, if the people that you say are going go, like I know I've heard you say like E B Z, like these people. <laughs> You think it's gonna last? You think it's gonna last three weeks? Yeah, I think so. Why not? I don't know if it's gonna last three weeks. Why wouldn't it? What's wrong? I feel like someone will end up like a couple weeks in. Someone will get like a hotel, or you'll get a hotel. No, no, because so, like, the the intention here is to keep the RV as comfortable as possible for everyone involved. Okay. Make sure the air conditioning works, the heater works. Make sure all the baggage goes in the trunk. You know, we keep it all comfortable. It's clean. There's no piss anywhere. It's just, it's a nice, comfortable RV. How can we have an RV without without pissing our pants? I don't know, dude. It's, it's going to be a challenge, <laughs> but I, I think we can do it. What's that? Who's going to drive? Um, I mean, I'll probably drive. Europe's not that big. We can go from one country to the next in like four hours. It's not that big. It's not. You can go from, you can go to country to country in like four hours. I feel you. Where, where would you, uh, it doesn't matter where we start. It doesn't matter. I'd be fucking down. Fuck it. I'm down. All right, perfect. So it'd be September 8th, 
I'll let you know how this works, and uh, you know, I'll. Let me look I'll, up. Uh, let me look up plane tickets and see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, just look up a ticket real quick. See, tell me how much they are from LA to. But wait, LA to you, LA to wait, Italy. To Italy. Yeah. Like Rome or some shit. Yeah, no, maybe like you know, yeah, like Rome. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll, I'll Ebenezer on a three-week road trip, by the way. Dude, he means he can stay in a car for three weeks. Dude, live the next storage unit for a month. It'd be good. I'd, I'd, uh, I feel like, I think tensions would get high at times, but it would all be, it would all be good as well. Yeah, yeah no, I, I don't think tensions will get that high. I think everyone's pretty relaxed and calm and nice to each other, so. Yeah, no, I feel like just living with each other in close quarters, you know. Sometimes it's a little, you know, get a little riled up. Oh yeah, there's no smoothies and <laughs> bro, there's no smoothies and weed in Europe, so EBZ might actually die. No, no, we can bring we'll bring some vape pens. We'll we'll keep them we'll keep them good. Bro, you cannot bring vape pens internationally. With, what are you talking about? Of course you can. What do you mean? I mean, good luck. You're gonna end up in fucking Before prison. Gary decides if he wants to go, uh, perhaps you two uh, should discuss how up, profits it's, will it's, be divided it's, after it's, the yeah, trip. Down, fuck it. We'll talk about that finance guy. Um. All right, so yeah, just let me know how much the flights are, and then we can uh, think about it. Because I don't know where we're going to end up flying to yet, but I'll, I'll let you know. All right, hell yeah, sounds good. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, chat. Listen, why y'all? Why y'all bitching? Do you what? What? What in the fuck is wrong Bro with Gary? Yanni and I want to hang out with you. Hold on, let me see. Um, Bro, Yanni and I want to hang out with you. What does that mean? Fucking thank you, dude. I appreciate that, bunny. If you want to hang out, fucking just let me know where you are, and we can hang out. Um, before Gary decides if he wants to go, maybe we should discuss how to discuss the, you know, fucking divide the profits. I mean, so basically it would just be whatever you make on your stream. That's your money. You know what I mean? That's just how it would be. There's no need to discuss the splitting of profits. Um, you know what I mean? So I mean, like what for, like there might be a s surveillance camera on the RV stream, but I wouldn't have TTS on probably. And if I did. Like, I, I don't know. I have to think about it. I might, but I like I said, I don't know. Because, like I said, we want to make sure we get sleep. We don't want to listen to TTS all night and not fucking sleep, so. It's not even 10 p.m. Gary is not made, made to be streamers too normal and cringe. No, come on. What are you talking about? Gary? No, Gary's great for the stream. You know, he's cool. Yeah, he's cool, especially with other people involved as well. I don't think like, you, anyone, nobody's mad about Gary, right? Like, come on. You guys are ridiculous. What do you think the RV will be like with the steering wheel on your girlfriend's side? What do you mean? I can drive on the wrong side of the road. That's easy. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, obviously in Europe, driving they drive on the opposite side of the road, but I, I can do that. That's not a hard thing to do. So, you know what I mean? That's easy. But yeah, let me show you guys something. So looking for RVs in Europe is so fucking it's so difficult do you have a license to drive an rv there you don't need a license um you know as long as you have a license in america or whatever country you're from you can drive i've driven in, your, in europe plenty of times so let's say i've tried using sites like this but let's see let's see what this site says we are divided on carry flip a coin no Gary, no gay pressing. I mean, come on. You guys are... What the fuck is... All right. Well, listen. As long as we have other people, too, it's not a big deal. I mean, I like Gary, and that's... You know, that should be all that matters. So, I mean, I know most of the... You guys like him, too. Like, you guys need to stop. Like, everyone fucking likes Gary, dude. Except m maybe a couple people in the chat. All right. So, let's just put... Let's just say we Zimbabwe. Dude, a Zimbabwe fucking RV trip. Could you imagine? No, that'd be awful. You actually cannot be around Gary without turning it gay. Listen, DBL. I can I can be around Gary without turning gay, all right? I just think it's funny to turn gay. But I can prove to you that I can be around people without turning gay. That's that's not a hard thing to do, okay? But let's say let's let's say we start in Italy, okay? And then just any fucking city. But let's just put the biggest city that they have, which is Rome. We'll just see what they have. We saw each country in Europe in a sufficiently in a month. It takes 24 hours to drive straight across without stops. Her idea is plausible. 
Gary is a good idea in her opinion. $100 finder's fee for RV? Actually, that's a good idea. So since I can't find shit on the internet with RVs, um, because I don't, you know, you can't search it in English. You have to search it in their native language, and I don't fucking speak their language. If somebody finds me a good RV that is plausible and that fits the criteria for Europe, then yes, I can send you $100. I'll do that. If you guys, if somebody finds me the RV, I'll send you $100. And I decide to get that one. Yeah, you can get a finder's fee. I'm down for that. But I would want it to be at, I would need it to fit at least five. I would need it to fit five people. And I would need it to not be fucking $20,000. <laughs> you know what I mean? So hopefully they won't charge for miles. Or maybe they charge for miles, but I can get the RV for cheap. You know, something like that. Scam, shake my head. I mean, you don't have to help me find the RV, but if you do, I'll send you a hundred bucks. But you have to use use give it to me. You have to, to Twitter DM me. You have to you have to Twitter DM me or post it on Reddit with your PayPal as well. Otherwise, I have no idea where to send the money. And I'll probably send you the money six months down the, down the line. It took me six months to pay Jacob for the fucking movie. So, you know, I mean, you guys know me. Let me see. What is this website? Somebody said check this website. All right, I don't speak this fucking language, though. But let's see. If we want something... I mean, this looks nice. This looks cozy. How much is this? Fuel is very expensive in Europe, but if there's a couple people on the RV with us, we can all split the fuel. It's not a big deal. Um, What is this? 179 euros for for what? How many... For what? Per day? This... Okay. This looks nice. This would be sick as fuck to drive around in Europe in. But let's be real. How much fucking money? This is not 179 euros a, a day. It's not. That's like, I wish it was. There's no way. In Europe? Let me see. What you say? When are you, where are you landing in Europe? Well, at the moment, I have no idea. But, you know, wherever the RV ends up being. All right, so I translated it. Luxury motorhome with plenty of space, four people. Okay, it's got a bunch of beds. All right, but what, what's the pricing on this? This looks nice, but what's the pricing on here? Um, four beds. That's perfect. Me and Kimberly can just share a bed and then, you know, we could fit the fifth person. That's easy. Thank you, Firefox. See I appreciate it. Chat. Okay. They even allow pets, but I, we're not going to bring a fucking pet with us. We're not bringing Snoopy with us. Fuck that. A coworker is going to watch one of Kimberly's coworkers is going to watch Snoopy for like 400 bucks. $1,000 deposit. Um, okay. That's easy. But how much money per day? There's still I still don't believe it's 179 euros a day. Mm. All right, so 179 euros is default per night for minimum rental of six nights, and then high season, preseason. So what season is it right now? So high season, preseason, at most 199 euros a, a, a day. So that's not bad. So let's calculate this real quick and how much money it would cost. So three weeks is 21 days. So we can do 200 times 21. So that's 4,200. So that's not that bad because we would probably just make our money back through the trip. And then we're not paying the 4,000 up front anyways. We would just pay, you know, 179 per day. So if it's just not working out, we can just bring it the fuck back. You know, so we don't lose a bunch of money, but I think we can make, we're making at least a hundred and two hundred, we're making two hundred dollars a day at least. You know what I mean? Like, that's You need a special driver license for a big RV. And yes, it is per day. I don't, what special license do you need though? Because I, if, if I do need a special license, I can just get that before we leave. But I don't need a license to drive an RV in America. And I've driven in Europe plenty of times. So I don't think we, I think we only need a license if it goes over 40 feet, which this one doesn't. That's a lot to cover. Yeah, but I think we, dude, we can easily make $200 a day to, to pay for the RV. That's not hard. So what other options do they have? So this one's pretty nice for 179. What's the cheaper option though? But that's still like pretty big and nice. So this one is also 179. Let me see. What does this one look like? 
Remember the international driver's license they asked for in Japan? Yeah, but I've driven in Europe plenty of times with... I think only Japan asks for an international driver's license. I don't think... They don't, they don't ask for that in Europe. I've driven in Europe a bunch. And I've never had them ask me that. So this one is also would be... This one would also be fucking sick. But now, this is $200 a day, all right? But they probably charge for miles. They always fucking do. And I, what I really need to understand is how much they charge in, like per mile. Because that's where the bulk of the price is going to come in here. And it's not going to be the rental. It's going to be the mileage. 70 per day just DM'd you on Twitter? Let me see. What did you DM me on Twitter? There's no way it's 70 a day. Bro, this is... There's no way this is 70 a day. Bro, that's, a sm that's pretty small, though. I guess it's not that small. Let me see. It's how, how many people does it fit? It fits two adults, two children. All right, so four people. Seventy per day just damned you on Twitter. Let me see. This looks pretty good. We could fit someone in the back trunk here. All right. Actually, that's that's a bed. Oh wait, what the fuck? What is this? Oh wow. Actually, there's no way this is seventy dollars a day. This is pretty nice though. I mean, the pictures are always going to make it look nicer than what it looks like in real life, especially because you can't get the perspective on how big it truly is, but this looks nice. Large families, this RV is made for you. Extra large dining rooms, standing, two tables, four fixed beds added to three convertible beds. Okay. A RV above 3,500 kilograms, you will need a special truck driver license. Europe has other rules. Well, I guess I would have to call them and, and see, but if that's the case, then I can just get that license. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard, right? You just apply for it, do like a test, apply for it, and that's it. 1200 for three weeks. Um, oh, this is 1200 for three weeks. Okay. Well, that's even that's still good as fuck. Check Twitter DMs, Q perks, 1200 for three weeks. Let me see. No, th this was the $70 a day one, right? No, this is, all right, this was, tw the one I just showed you, this is 1200 for three weeks. That's perfect. So I'm going to bookmark this, actually, and I'm going to call them later and ask what the requirements are here. Because God forbid I fly over there and then we can't actually drive it. That'd be fucking terrible. Let me see. Somebody DM'd me this. What is this? But I still think there's like a hidden fee somewhere. There's there's definitely probably some kind of like mileage fee or something. Bro, what? This is two thousand seven hundred dollars for th for thirty one days. It's a fucking van. Why the fuck would a van be almost three thousand dollars? I mean, it looks like a nice van, but <laughs> I mean, we could get a much bigger thing for. Good luck in our fucking... future endeavors. I will be taking care of Kimber. This is our okay, favorite dude. video of you. We have been watching for four years. Since our initial raw interaction. DM Nelk. I just did for you. Listen, Willie. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But you're not going to be taking care of Kimberly. She's coming with me, all right? What are you talking about? But thank you. Yeah, we're not living in a fucking van for $3,000. We need an RV, dude. But this is pretty nice, though. Oh, yeah. Insurance fees. No, the insurance is never that much, though. Maybe not, you know, an extra hundred dollars a week or something. Insurance is never that much, so I don't think it's a big deal. Um, class B driver's license. I mean, to be fair, as long as we don't get pulled over, we don't need a class B driver's license. But how do you get that? Let me look it up. How to get an RV license? Are you stupid? A truck driver license is pretty hard to get. The costs are around 1,500 euros. Good luck. You stupid. Okay, well, I bet I could figure it. I bet I could figure it the fuck out. Hold on. Let me see. So you need a federal class A, B, C, D, L, blah, 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 blah. How the fuck do you get it? Let me see. How do you, how, like, just, it's like a fucking test or something, right? I mean, I have a month to get, I can get it. Chat, can I get it in a month? Yes or no? That's the only thing I need to know at the moment. And if anything, I th as long as we don't get pulled over, there's nothing to worry about.
Only four EU member states have provisions that allow persons to operate vehicles over 3.5 tons with a conventional driver's license. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, I don't, you know what? I don't even, I'm not worried about it, all right? Like, I don't think it's a big, I think we're fine. Like, especially if we get it from some scuffed ass company, we're fine. My uncle owns shares in RV site. Check TWTTR. DM from Tinsley. Thanks. My uncle owns shares in RV site. Well, then perfect. Like I said, if there's anybody who has connections with like RV shit, hey, give me a, a good discount or a nice price, hey, that would be even better. What is this? All right, we got cam I don't want a camper though. I want, I want a big ass RV. I just hope the internet going in between countries in the middle of nowhere is good in Europe. Like, how's the 4G in Europe outside of major cities? Like, on the highway and, you know, in the middle of nowhere and, like, on, in, like, mountains and shit. Or, like, you know, nature and shit. Because that's what we're going to be driving through. It's not very good. Well, you know... Even if I bring a live view, if there's no 4G, the live view isn't going to do anything. The live view makes everything have higher quality, but there you still needs to be 4G. Boy. Steve from Nelk just told me to tell you to DM anyone from Nelk. They got you. Said they would meet up with you. Problem solved. They have an assistant who got you right now in RV. Well, then, uh, oh, I mean, if that's true, that'd be great. Why don't? Why doesn't their assistant DM me? Instead, then, what do you mean? What is this? What the fuck is this, dude? Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Why wouldn't Nelk have <laughs> somebody want helping me with an RV? What do you mean? Um, and then that guy sent me that one. All right, I have all the. I just bookmarked a couple new sites, so we'll see if uh, we'll see what we can get here. As soon as I book something, as soon as I find something, I'll tweet it out. And then I'll start advertising it. Well, actually, this is what I have to do. So I, I book an RV. I already have the itinerary. Well, I can't make the itinerary until I know where I'm going to fly into to, to pick it up. The only perfect four grams is the Netherlands. Well, I mean, I uh, we'll figure it out. I, I have a 4G booster as well. We'll see what we can do. But, all right, so we have an RV. We pick that up. We fucking, we, we book it. Okay, then I start advertising it. And then, well, no, I book the RV, get the itinerary, try to find people who will join me, and then I start advertising it. Then we have three weeks advertised, and then we go over there. And then once we get over there, everyone should know about it. So that'll be good. That'll be very interesting. And then we'll be there for three weeks, which means I will probably be streaming almost every single day in Europe for three fucking weeks. And because uh, there's so much shit to see, so much shit to do. So that'll be good and interesting. Um, now... I think as long as the RV stays comfortable, we're not going to want to give up halfway through. Obviously, the, the, the thing that, you know, makes people want to give up on long road trips is how uncomfortable it can get. But as long as we keep it comfortable and everyone shows respect to, to the RV, it's not and not trashes it and it stays really nice, then, you know, it's going to be uh, like there's no like it's going to be better than a hotel. When's it going to be? Well, we're leaving September 8th um, to go to Europe. So that's the date right now. You need to bring pe people who are single ice. There's one of the reasons why Gary isn't as interesting. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone else is, is single then. <laughs> so, I mean, what does being single have to do with it? Will you be streaming it on YouTube or Mixer? So, I would probably stream it on YouTube and Mixer. Um, this alternating it between the two. If I do an RV cam, like a 24 seven cam, I would probably do the 24 seven cam on mixer and then the normal streams on YouTube. So I have, so people have a reason to go to mixer, you know what I mean? So obviously I'm probably going to alternate between the two, um, you know, sites there. Is there any way to get Elixir to appear at some point? Well, Elixir, uh, you know, he lives in, in L.A., so I don't think he... If he comes to Texas, I'll hang out with him, but he's also, like, fucking 15 years old, so it'd be kind of weird for me to just hang out with him at my house without it being weird. Is there any way weird. you get Elixir to appear at some point? But, you know, I think... I thought he was going to come to Texas a few months ago, 
uh, for like a, his birthday or something, but he ended up not coming. Need a surveillance stream no matter what? Well, there probably will be a surveillance stream. Just, I don't want fucking, I want to be able to sleep though. I don't want fucking loud ass TTS throughout the entire fucking night. That'd be stupid. So we'll see how that goes. Why are y'all saying F4? It's not effing. All right. Now, is there anything else that we need to think about for this trip? Is there anything else we need to... Uh, like, I'm trying to think. Because I feel like there, if, I, I feel like there's going to be stuff that we're missing. And if we go there and we miss stuff, it's not going to be good. Like, what else do we need? Okay, I have the data. Just downset in pack um okay so let me i have one i have one modem so let me show you ebz has already stated that he would never do a continuous rv trip and he has to drive for three days and sleep in a hotel for one or two days and good luck dealing with his weed withdrawals content cx well, you know, I would, I would make it my decision. I would make it my goal and my priority to make the RV as comfortable as possible. So, you know, I think it would be different. EBZ doesn't want to go in an RV that's uncomfortable, that's fucking a mess and disgusting. Like he wants something that's nice and comfortable, and I can provide that for him. Um, so I have the data. I have, I have multiple live views. You know, it's not hard. I have. I have all that shit. I just need to spend the money for the fucking data. And you know what? I'll spend the money for the data. You know, I didn't do it for Japan. If we go to Europe for three fucking weeks, I'll spend the fucking money on the data. You know, it's 1200 bucks. I'll just fucking do it. Um, and then we have the vehicle and all that. I don't think there's anything else that we need. I think that would basically be it. Jacob said this about the last Harvey trip. See, uh, Maybe you can try this now. Let's see. What is it? Tensi donated one dollar. Have you seen? Thank you, thank you, Tensi, and wow. Have you seen the? Have you seen the cum spoon? If not, check Discord DM. Definitely not checking. Bro, what the fuck is that? Discord DM. I've never seen that. I did see someone talking about it, saying it's seen. <laughs> Bro, what is that? Why the fuck did you just donate a cum spoon? All right, listen. I don't think I need to delete the VOD. It's It was censored. I think it's fine. But listen, why the fuck? Why? Like, well, you're gay as fuck. Why the fuck did you send that? I don't know if that's some fuck. I mean, that's obviously some Discord shit. So why the fuck? Like, no, listen, buddy. Tenzi, you motherfucker. All right, save that for Strawberry Vision, asshole. We don't need that on the stream here. Uh, use your camera. Well, I don't know why camera's blocked, but... Um, Oh yeah, because Cam one, Cam two. That's why. Back to you about the sub button. Surveillance Cam could pay for trip. Leaves. Uh, Mixer has not gone back to me yet, and yeah, you're right. It could pay for the trip. That is true. And leave EBZ. I like EBZ, but he just needs to not have fucking media going on when I'm f on Mixer, dude. If you had one guess why Jacob was in the bathroom for a long time, meanwhile we heard a big sniff as an inhale through the nostrils. Why would? Okay, come on, dude. There's, he obviously doesn't do fucking coke dude um yeah no i mean i haven't heard anything back but if you know if i got a partner on mixer that would also help pay for it that'd be good so why don't you just invest all your streaming into one platform um be well i mean i pretty much do but you know i also like growing mixer it's a very fun thing to grow so you know i'm gonna keep trying i'm gonna keep at it and keep trying to grow the uh you know my mixer account as well because it's pretty fun how much do you miss jacob Good amount. I mean, of course. I mean, I was with him for two and a half years, so. But, I, yeah, I mean, we're good, so. I don't know how many of y'all live in Europe, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be extremely fun. I can't wait. I, like I said, I don't really know. Like, it's just going to be, we're just going to be doing, like, normal streams until then. But a week before, I'm going to really push hard in advertising it and trying to, like, get the hype going for it. Because I think it's going to be interesting. 
Now, the one thing I'm going to say, we're probably not going to go to the UK. Did you see Bjorn with a girl he met and within an hour she was arrested and got KDUI fastest CX effect in history? I mean, don't drink and drive. That's all I got to say. Um, we're not going to the UK. You know why? Because England, Scotland, and Ireland are all in an island. We can't drive there. Anything that's an island, we can't go there. It's, it's a fucking island. How do we get there? So it's going to be just the mainland. You know, unfortunately for anyone who lives in the UK. Thank you, JR. I appreciate it. And then we're going to come back after the the Europe trip by the 20th or like 25th or something. And, uh, you know, that'll be the trip. And we'll see how it goes. And, you know, depending on how it goes, you know, maybe the trip can do something else. SJC is a passport. We're well, listen, no offense to SJC, but I, I don't want to bring SJC on a fucking trip, dude. CX in the chat. I mean, no offense. I, I just I, I don't want to, I just don't want him to come. I don't, I don't want to bring him. So thank you, JR. I appreciate it. I want to bring people that are, you know, uh, wholesome and respectable. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. You know, out of all the people that I ex that I said, EBZ is the, the least wholesome person, but he's very respectable. And, you know, when I ask him to do something like turn off his media, you know, he does it. So, um, and, you know, he adds... Uh, you know, a lot of interesting value as well. But let me see. Let me actually DM Tracksuit and see where his mind is. Because on Discord, he said he'd be down, but I haven't actually talked to him yet. Now, how do you guys think this trip would go? Is <clears throat> is there any thing that I can do that would make the trip better? Because obviously, you know, I want to take your input as well from this whole thing. Besides it being just EU friendly, obviously. Three sixty action cam. I don't think the data is going to be good enough for that, or the internet, or whatever. Put up a poll and see which people the community want to see you go with you. Well, the thing about polls is, all right, we can put up a poll, but the thing about polls is, I feel like people are going to choose people that you know aren't going to be a good fit. I mean, for example, I mean Bjorn would be a great fit. I would like to bring Bjorn, but he. Like, when he gets drunk, he gets too, you know, like, uh, I don't know, he just says, like, shit that I don't, that I don't want to hear when he gets CX drunk. in the chat. You know what I mean? I don't want, you know, Bjorn to be saying the N-word and things like that. So, you know, it's very unfortunate. Thank you, Eden. I appreciate that, bro. But, yeah, this would be the official third RV trip to the, the motherfucking thing, to the, uh, to the first one and the second one. I know we've, you know, done some road trips in between there, but they, you know, were just like alone and nothing. They weren't advertised as such. So this would be advertised as such. What about Lucha? I mean, I could bring Lucha. I mean, it really just depends on, uh, I mean, I think the people that I already named were probably the best fit that we could bring. But, you know, if there's anyone else that should be considered, you guys will have to let me know. The only thing that I'm worried about is we can only bring maximum five people. Like, I'm not bringing fucking 20 people. Like, that's, it can, it has to be five or less. You know, if there's too many people, it's, it's awful. It has to be five or less so the viewers can keep up with what's going on without having to look at. The one thing that I don't want is, um, obviously 20 fucking streams at the, like, going on at the same time. People need to stream one at a time. Otherwise, it's going to just be retarded. So, um, you know, obviously this trip, I would like to keep it more organized and more you know, uh, fit for, uh, you know, viewer, like viewer experience. Because there's nothing wrong with people streaming all at the same time, but I just think it, it makes the viewer experience not so good. <laughs> well, EBZ's out. I mean, EBZ, 
totally followed the, those rules in Hawaii. In Hawaii, I wanted everyone to stream one at a time, and EBZ was one of the only people that did follow those rules until everyone else just started breaking the rules, and then he was just like, fuck it. So if I tell EBZ, don't stream when other people are streaming, and we all have a schedule, I'm 100% sure he would follow that. He also called you a bitch recently? What do you mean? When did EBZ call me a bitch? Take Euro Channel from France to the UK? Do they have a, they don't have a road though? That's a train. It's not a road. I mean, that was just an argument though, Jay Jay Kutch. So I don't really. It was just he was just emotional. I don't think it's a big deal. Like I said, EBZ. If he can't get his passport, it doesn't even matter. He has to get his passport. And to be honest, I don't think he can get his passport in time. But we'll see. A large cast means smaller streaming schedules and more class. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's why, uh, you know, five or less people. Anything for views? To be honest, after the experience that Chad had on the last trip, I don't think he would be down to go on this one. Um, I don't think he had a great experience. I mean, he said he enjoyed it, and it was the time of his life, but he also got banned on Twitch and got a lot of bad publicity. So, <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to be stream friendly for the U.S. fans? So, the, I mean, listen, if we're in Europe, it's going to be very early for the U.S. You know, when I go live in Europe at like 4 p.m., it's going to be like 10 o'clock in the morning for L.A. or something. So it's, uh, you know, the, the scheduling is going to be a little bit weird, but not any not worse in Japan, though. In Japan, I would go live at fucking 8 p.m. So, you know, when it was like 10 a.m. for Japan. So that was the worst. glad i canceled my membership <laughs> uh, but why though take ferry you need to come to scotland bro i don't like we'll, we'll see about scotland but i don't know about all that but all right listen that's pretty good kraken bro kraken dude kraken i mean i could bring kraken but she is just a single person that we've met one time so how do we really know how she is on stream have an actual tour guide when you stop in cities i feel like that takes a lot of the fun out of it i wouldn't want a tour guide i would probably just we stop in a city and we just you know explore it on our own accord i don't think uh I don't think we should get a tour guide. I feel like that just defeats a lot of the fun of it. But we'll see. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But as you guys can see, or ho hopefully, I hope you can see that I'm trying to plan this accordingly so it's not just a fucking Have an mess. Have tour guide when you stop in cities. I'm trying to plan this accordingly so it's not just a fucking mess and, like, scuffed. You know, I want it to be a really good trip. I want it to work out really CX nicely. I want everything to just be to go smoothly. Let me see. Get Pleb's opinions. Let's see. Let's get Pleb. Okay. Let's get the whole chat's opinion here. Or the whole chat's ideas. So the members have explained what they Why want. Why are you not bringing Cassandra? She's wholesome and she did nothing bad to you. <laughs> Is Cassandra really a streamer, though? That's the thing. She doesn't really stream. And when she does stream, it's not very, like, I don't know. It's it's not, it, it's, I don't know how great, like, she's not that good of a streamer. Um, so I don't know about that one, but we'll see. But let's see. All right, so let's get the whole chat's opinion. So for the people that are not members in the chat, what... Other, what do you think about this idea, and what other, um, you know, suggestions do you have? Let me see. You can drive the car into the Euro Tunnel. Well, then if we can do that, then it, you know it's a possibility to go to the UK. But to be honest, I don't really like England. I'd rather go to Ireland or something. I don't fucking like England. Fuck England. <laughs> like, I, I don't. I think I've been to England so many times, and I've never liked it.
a scheduled route. Yeah. So once I get, once I figure out where the RV is, where I'm flying into, we have, we're, we're going to make a scheduled route. I already showed you the scheduled route that I had before, but I'm going to have to retract that because I don't know where the so. RV is going to be at. And then I'll show you guys the itinerary, obviously. So if you live in England or Engl if you live in Europe and you want to, you know, say what's up, you know where we're going to be every day. And every day, like you guys know what's going to happen and where you guys are going to be every single day. So, or where we're going to be every single day. So, Bjorn, listen, I don't know how to bring Bjorn. I don't. I would love to, but I don't know how to bring him without without him like saying the n word. <laughs> like if he can control himself, then sure. But I, you know, I don't. I don't. I don't Later see how we can do that. Far after the CURV trip when you were in your thirties, I would love to see you get pressed by Alaskan folks again. Bro, I don't want to go back to Alaska, bro. I don't know about that. But thank you, homie. And also, Bjorn's hanging out with, like, Bone Clinks and all those guys. And you know Bone Clinks is not going to let Bjorn go. You know he's not. You know what I mean? He's going to want Bjorn to stay with him. So uh, that's I think that would be a fight that's honestly not worth fighting for. <laughs> it would just be a... I don't know. It, it just, I think, I feel like some drama would come from that. And, you know, obviously I'm trying to avoid drama at all costs because it's fucking stupid and nobody wants that. So drive a car into a ferry. I mean, you could, actually, we could do that until like uh, Scotland or something. I mean, if Bjorn could not say the N word and then there would be no drama that comes from it, then, yeah, you know, I would be down for that. But like I said, I would want to avoid drama. And I feel like drama could come from that. <laughs> Bring Creek or right. I mean, Creek's doing his own thing. He doesn't want to go on a fucking trip, dude. What's up, Jellyfish? How you doing, bro? Because do people really want Cassandra? Come on. Like, dude, listen. I don't have any bad blood with her. Hey, I but she's... Newbie symbol. Newbie symbol. What does she add? Newbie symbol. Newbie symbol. Newbie symbol. You know what I mean? Other than being like eye candy, what does she add? Hyphonics would be good. Yeah, but he's doing his own thing on, uh, you know, streaming RuneScape and everything. So. I mean, Cassandra is already in Europe right now. So that would save her a flight. So we'll see how it goes. You build a career off the end. Uh, okay, thank you, dude. Listen, I don't. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Why do you only want one person to stream at a time? Well, let me ask you guys. Would you prefer to be able to know what to watch? at every given point and not miss anything? Or would you prefer five different streams going on at the same time and then you miss stuff? Like, I feel like that just, and also if everyone's streaming at the same time, it creates an awkward environment because everyone just has fucking cameras in their face and TTS all over the place. And it's just very disorganized, you know? I, I think one stream at a time is the most organized way to go at it. I feel like when there's too many streams, it's just too chaotic and it's not a great viewer experience and everyone's talking to their streams as opposed to talking to each other and i i don't like that pokemon is good i mean pokemon is very good thank you dog i appreciate it five different angles i mean but we don't we don't need that we don't need pokemon five angles is good all we need is a camera person, right? So let's say, because let's say it's EBZ's turn to stream. No one wants to watch the fucking ceiling. So I would just fucking hold the camera. And then, you know what I mean? And then point it at EBZ and vice versa. So, you know, because nobody, you know, EBZ, imagine it's like, all right, it's EBZ's time to stream. And everyone's like, fuck, you know, goddamn, no. But, you know, Jordan's I would obviously hold that shit. And the only reason Bone gets over 500 viewers, he would cry if Bone left. Well, like I said, it, it would be a, it would be definitely a fight, I think, which I would want to fight you for. Realize you watching this shit. Stupid question. One camera, one cameraman, 
That's it. No questions asked. When you have RV cam going, turn off donations. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's uh, that that's the that's the plan here. That's the original plan. So, do a poll. Do a poll for the. Well, I mean, I don't really need to do a poll. I mean, I think I know what what the best viewing experience is here. You know, but we'll see. This is let, let's just, we'll just see when the time comes. You know what I mean? Like I said, at this certain point in time, I don't actually have uh, a roster. I have to DM everyone, and I have to just see who's down, who's not down, and then we have to organize it and plan it. Right now, there's like no planning, and I'm trying to plan it, but I don't have a roster yet, so let's just see who's down to come, and then we'll go from there with the whole you know streaming situation. Live chat, not top chat. I mean, there's not really a difference, to be honest. I think live chat, you can just curse. And top chat, you can't. I think that's the only difference. Make a poll to see. Well, how about this? Just post on Reddit on who you would want to see. And then, whoever, and then, you know, whichever post has good upvotes or good engagement with comments, I'll take that into consideration. Because a poll, you know, I can't really poll because I don't know who is down and who's not yet. So you have to, can, you know, make the suggestion. And then if the suggestion gets some traction, then I will try to make it happen. Otherwise, um, the you NSA know. The NSA is watching said that my dono is down. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, dude. I don't, know who the, I don't know what that means, but thank you, dog. I appreciate it, homie. The NSA, thank you, homie. The bots will ruin voting. I mean, that's true. Um I know, I know. Upvotes on my subreddit is completely fucked. It's there's like downvote bots and all this other dog shit. But um, still, post on Reddit, even if it has zero fucking upvotes, comment, add comments. Okay, whichever post has the most fucking comments, well, you know, I'll take that in consideration as an upvote, and then I'll try to make it happen. But like I said, I don't know if if uh, I can't really make a poll because I, I don't know who I would put in the poll. You guys have to make the suggestions there. And I know there's a, a downvoting problem on my Reddit. So each comment, I will just count as an upvote. So if somebody makes a post with a person explaining why they would want this person, and then there's like 20 comments, and then there's another post with two comments, I'll take the 20 comment post in the consideration more than the two comment post. That's what I would do. How have you matured in the past three months? Did you need two? Are you the same ball or different? How are you and Kimber doing? How is your mom? How is her dad? When did you talk to them last? Uh, my parents are fine. I talked to them a couple of days ago. Kimberly and I are good. Um, I mean, I <clears throat> haven't, I'm, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't matured that much, to be honest. I just have different values now, I suppose. But thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that, Sammy. All right, so that's the conversation. You guys know what the plan is. You guys know what I'm doing. You guys know what's going on. Um, you know what I'm planning for. You know what's going on. And blah, blah, blah. Post on the Reddit who you would Yay, want. Mr. Status Guy, it's amazing. Um, with that said... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to Mixer. We're going to play some games and just chill, do some stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the night. But you guys have to help me out here. If you would like to make suggestions, post on the Reddit or DM me on Twitter. One of the two options there. Did you know if you had a daily or five days a week schedule, you can dub your viewers, but I forgot you're lazy as fuck. Well... When the Europe trip comes, then you'll see that schedule, as you, as you can see here, okay? So I'm trying to plan it out and organize it accordingly. You don't read my DM? Well, DM me again, Machine Elf, and, uh, or DM me on Twitter, and I'll see it. Because all my DMs are open on Twitter, so. All right. I'm going to switch over to Mixer. We're going to play some games, do some stuff, and I will see you guys in a couple minutes there, all right? So let me link it in the chat here.
there is the Mixer account. So I'll see you guys over there. And if you don't go over there, then I will see you guys tomorrow. And we will uh, do some stuff. And, you know, like I said, I have this shit planned. Hopefully, I'm going to call some companies that I bookmarked here from the stream that people have suggested. See if I can get a better RV than the fucking little uh, camper that I found. And we're going to see where that ends up going. But, all right, I'm going to see you guys over there on Mixer. And, yeah, all right, give me like two minutes, chat, all right?